Selma, Alabama came to the forefront of the modern civil rights movement on March 7, 1965. Despite a state ban on such protests, some 600 civil rights marchers gathered at the Brown Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church and planned to march all the way to the state capitol in Montgomery. They were determined to act after the death of Alabama civil rights activist Jimmy Lee Jackson, who was beaten and shot by an Alabama state trooper during a peaceful voting rights march three weeks earlier in nearby Marion. Led by Hosea Williams and John Lewis, the group headed east out of Selma on U.S. Route 80. They made it six blocks before state and local police met them at the Edmund Pettus Bridge. In what became known as Bloody Sunday, the police and onlookers drove the protesters back with whips, billy clubs, rubber tubing, and tear gas. John Lewis had his skull fractured in the melee. Two days later, on March 9th, Martin Luther King Jr. led a symbolic march to the bridge as civil rights leaders sought court protection for a full-scale march from Selma to Montgomery. Alabama Governor Wallace's ban was overruled by federal judge Frank M. Johnson Jr. And on Sunday, March 21st, about 3,000 marchers set out for Montgomery, walking 12 miles a day and sleeping in fields. By the time they reached the Capitol on Thursday, March 25th, they were 25,000 strong. Less than five months after the last of the three marches, President Lyndon Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Both the building and the members of Brown Chapel AME Church played pivotal roles in the Selma, Alabama marches that helped lead to the passage of the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Brown Chapel also hosted the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, the SCLC, for the first three months of 1965. 